Greetings, movie munchers. Today, we're sinking our teeth into a cinematic delicacy. The one, the only, Ron Perlman in his latest movie, 2023's The Baker. Now, forget about your preconceived notions of Hellboy, because Ron is trading in horns for dough hooks in this one. Move over Jason Bourne. Ron Perlman is here. He's not needing dough. He's needing justice. Now, let's talk about plot. It's as thick as the dough in the Chicago deep dish pizza, full of twists, turns, and enough suspense to keep you on the edge of your seat. But honestly, who needs a plot when you got Ron Perlman beating up bad guys with a baguette? Perlman is out to find his son after he gets caught up in a doughy situation. He's accompanied by his granddaughter, who doesn't talk due to some previous traumas she experienced, all while being chased by some bad guys. Forget guns and grenades, the real weapons of mass destruction are in the pastry aisle in this movie. Hold on to your oven mitts, folks, because Elias Costas and Hyrie Keitel play roles as villains in this movie. It's like Mr. White and Casey Jones have it out for the baker due to some burned cookies. The Baker is a movie that fans of Ron Perlman have been wanting to see him do for years. Since he's known for action with Hellboy, he kind of shows that off in this movie. I don't know what workout routine Ron's on, but sign me up, dude's in his 70s and putting in work. Who knew baking could be such a workout? Now, The Baker isn't just a movie. It's a roller coaster ride through a bakery of mayhem, with Ron Perlman leading the charge armed with flower power. It's like John Wick going to the bakery. If you're into dopey action movies, this one's right up your alley. Thanks so much for checking out this mini review of The Baker. Until next time, my movie munching friends, stay buttered up and keep the laughter rising like a perfectly proofed dough.